And a desperate Pakistan is still trying its best to internationalize the Kashmir issue. This time it was Pakistan Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi who spoke on Kashmir to his Polish counterpart. But the Polish Foreign Minister pointed out that any dispute between states can only be solved bilaterally. Remember, Poland is the head of the UN Security Council for the month of August. In fact, earlier the Polish ambassador to India had told Wion Sedan Sibyl that Kashmir is a bilateral issue and Poland's voice carries weight because it is the current head of the UNSC. It is clear that all attempts by Pakistan to get the U.S. on board against India have failed. India's U.S. ambassador has said that the U.S. President Donald Trump's offer to mediate on Kashmir is now, quote-unquote, off the table. Our ambassador Shingler spoke to Trump's favorite TV channel, Fox News, and said that Trump has made it clear that his offer does not stand anymore because India did not accept the offer. It was always known that the offer had to be accepted by both Delhi and Islamabad. Ambassador Shengler pointed out that America's decade-old policy was not to mediate but to encourage India and Pakistan to resolve their differences bilaterally. Remember, the U.S. President first spoke about the Kashmir issue during a joint media appearance with Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan on the 22nd of July. He had stunned everyone by saying that the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi had asked him to mediate on the Kashmir issue. Now, Trump claimed that Prime Minister Modi made this request when they met on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Osaka. India immediately clarified that the Prime Minister had made no such request and that Kashmir was a bilateral issue. A week later, the U.S. President took a U-turn on his comments. He said that he would certainly intervene if India and Pakistan wanted him to, and he said it was up to Prime Minister Modi to accept his offer. India not just rejected the offer, but it also made it clear that no talks will take place until Pakistan stopped cross-border terrorism. But Pakistan is in no mood to relent. It wants to pressure the U.S. Now, Pakistan's envoy to the United States has raised the possibility that they might reploy, redeploy their troops to Kashmir frontier. And if that happens, it could complicate the U.S. peace talks on Afghanistan. In an interview to the New York Times, Pakistan's ambassador, Assad Majid Khan, said that uh, Islamabad might redeploy troops from the western border of the country to the eastern border. However, Assad Khan has clearly stated in his interview that the Kashmir and Afghanistan issues were separate and he was not attempting to link them. Even then, the Pakistani ambassador went on to say that India's move on Jammu and Kashmir could not have come at a quote-unquote worse time for Pakistan. That's because the Pakistanis have sought to strengthen military control along the western border with Afghanistan. And Mr. Khan went on to claim that the crisis was going to get worse. When specifically asked why he thought the crisis would worsen, he declined to give any reasons.